You know, there is a real trend right now in our day and our time for us to self-identify. You know, we are doing some kind of sociological experiment where we are asking preteens and children to self-identify. Figure out who you are right now in this most awkward moment of your life. I'm telling you what, when I was in junior high, if somebody had asked me to self-identify, I probably would have said I was a unicorn. I don't know why we are doing this to people, but there is a better identity than any identity. Identity I could label or put on myself. There is a God-given identity. And here's the truth. The more we know God, the more he reveals us. You know, I love Peter's interaction with Jesus. Jesus is taking a poll with his disciples and saying, who do they say the son of man is? And they're saying, well, they're saying that you're Elijah raised from the dead. Some of you are saying that you're John the Baptist. Other people are saying this and that. And Jesus said, but but who do you say that I am? And Peter answers back, you are the Christ, the son of living God. And actually I should say it differently. It's Simon that answers back, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus says to him, you know what? Flesh and blood did not tell you that. You didn't read that in a book, Simon. You heard that from my father. And because my father has revealed to you who I really am, I'm going to tell you who you really are. When you have a revelation that you are the daughter and the son of of a God without rival, when you have a revelation of the magnitude of who our God is, that he is the I am, that he is the almighty, then you have a revelation that because he is almighty, you are mighty. You have a revelation because he is love, you can love. When you have a revelation of who God is, then he is in a position to tell you who you really are. You are a child of God without rival. Do not compromise. Do not self-identify. Let God awaken who you really are to you.